funny that you say that. I had a Charminder too. Well, I suppose he was more of a babysitter. He would look after me while my parents were at work. I, I was only young. I would have been around eight years old at that time. And he must have been in his mid-twenties. Things were cool. We were like mates. We kicked the football about, play video games. I'd always try and copy his moves and he'd show me new techniques and stuff. I remember playing Sonic 2 with him. It was the first time where they'd split the screen in two so you could both play at the same time. We'd race each other, fight the baddies together. There was a new girl group out at the time called TLC. They did a song called No Scrubs. They had a new album out and I just wanted it so bad, but there really was no way for me to get my hands on it. Until uh, one day he bought it for me. I literally couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I took the CD out of the brand new CD case, put it in the Disman and we listened to it together. We even danced, it was fun. But, in between all of this, there was this other thing that would happen. He would take me to my room to do this other thing that we did. And I really don't know how it all started. It's difficult to remember. It must have happened so slowly. Maybe small touches here and there. Touches on my leg or touches on my hand. And he'd keep repeating this until he could see that it had become normal for me. Uh, like I wasn't even noticing it anymore. Then maybe he would introduce hugs to get closer. Then maybe he would suggest that we took our t-shirts off during some of those games. Like I really don't know. Things progress to a stage where we were doing things completely naked and I was fine with it. And it's all still really difficult for me to get my head around because I'd actually become quite fond of some of the things that we were doing. He would touch all over my body in this very gentle way that felt loving at the time. It was comforting and high. and I liked it. And when he got to my private parts, well, he knew what to do to make it tingle. And to me at that age, it was a nice sensation. I thought it was pretty good. Not everything that we did was like this. Some things were just so terrible. It was when it was my turn to do things to him, I, I couldn't understand why he would ask me to do that. I wasn't getting any comforting feelings from those things. What he was asking me to do was gross. I just wanted it to be over. But it was all part of it. All part of the routine that he had got me used to. And I was just getting on with it. Sometimes... He would put porn on the TV and sit me down to watch it with him. It was so disgusting, I couldn't understand it. I, I couldn't understand what it was that they were doing. The noises they were making, the close-ups of the penetration looked like somebody's insides. I just wanted it turned off. Yet I never said anything. I never said anything to anyone. I didn't really understand what it was that I was involved in. I, I didn't really know what it was, know that it was wrong. I was a child growing up in the early 90s. Nobody was talking to someone my age about those things. 
I, I didn't know what that porn was and that kids shouldn't be watching it. I didn't even know what sex was at that time. Nobody had taught me where the no-go zones on my body were and if anybody touches me there, I am to tell someone. Nobody had told me that there are to be no secrets and if anybody asked me to keep one, then I am to tell someone. And the problem is, I don't think we are talking to children about this now. And this has to change. We need to start having conversations with children so that they understand if this is happening to them and that they can tell us. Like they're relying on us for this information. I just want people to have the conversation.